the state flow chart shown here is part of a larger engine controls design and controls the fuel rate in a gasoline engine. In order to test the completeness of this design, we have created an open loop harness model for it. This model broadly contains a test unit, which in our case is the control logic, and a signal builder block, which contains the functional test cases to analyze coverage in our design. We will simulate our design under these existing test cases and obtain a coverage report. A quick look at the coverage metrics in the summary tells us that our existing test cases don't provide full coverage to our control logic design. We have two options here, to manually create the test cases that will account for the missing coverage, or to use Simulink Design Verifier to automatically generate test cases that will satisfy the missing coverage objectives. We will first log the existing test cases from the harness model and save them into a mat file. Simulink Design Verifier can leverage these existing test cases while generating the new tests. In order to do this, we can use the options for test case generation in Simulink Design Verifier and specify the files that contain the existing tests. We are now ready to generate the new test cases. Once test case generation is complete, we can view the generated test cases in a new harness model. In order to combine all our test cases, we can merge the two harness models. We will now simulate the control logic with all the test cases in the combined harness model and obtain a coverage report once again. This is the coverage obtained by the functional test cases, while this is the coverage obtained from the Simulink Design Verifier generated test cases. And finally, this is the combined coverage for our control logic design. These results can be viewed on the model as well, and we can see how Simulink Design Verifier has helped us achieve full coverage for our design by automatically generating these test cases for us.